Hello guys, it is Hannibal here from Archangel's Custom Toys and today we are looking at my custom figure of Mutant Firefield from Prometheus. This figure was a standard release which I then took and heavily, heavily customised, you know, with wires and paint. So let's get him in a normal pose and take a closer look. Now, before we get on to the accessories and the figure, I have to mention all these little things flying around in front of the camera. They're black flies. Well, you know how bad they are? Look, there's one on my hand. These things are evil. They bite you and suck your blood and it leaves horrible lumps. They are so annoying. It's, it's about 30 degrees here in Canada. They are out to call mayhem. Now, with that on, let's get to the accessories. So, the first one we have is the helmet which came with the original release. Obviously, I felt this was needed to the character since he just doesn't look quite the same without his smashed helmet on. Now, um... Sorry, I'm picking flies off me. These, this is smashed here, as you can see, and has the port set. Now, that white piece of plastic is actually part of the stem that help, that holds the inner gold piece. It would have been used with David. Basically, this front section here is new. This back part is old. I should have retold the whole thing. And it just fits on his head quite easily by removing that piece of plastic there and squeezing it and pegging it onto his helmet his head sorry like that and it fits on very nicely i do apologize these flies are really becoming a pain they are all over my hands as i'm trying to do things and they will not stop biting me so i do apologize if i do get a bit distracted like i am now it's because of them so that's that the elver accessory is a starlight and pure time made out of epoxy clay it's a bit crude but it does the job nicely now you can remove the lid and pull out the vials inside they are four of them glued together on a piece of twisted wire and they just sit in there quite nicely like that so you pop it in and sorry there are oh, these flies and it just sits on and it's in the wrong order because it won't it's in the wrong way it has to go in a certain way else it doesn't fit together properly and it just sits like that. You can have Firefield stand near it or throw it or whatever you want. Now the figure is heavily customised in terms of paint and extra glued on parts. He has wires all over him which are the outer part of the wire, the casing. Um, it's mainly the twisty ties you get with these, with these NECA figures, including some of the ones from him himself. I basically removed the actual inner metal part and just used the plastic tubing, the flex tubing as I call it. So as you can see, it's all over and does not hinder articulation one little bit. The torso is going all kinds of funk. So let me just move that out. Let me just move that back to normal. All over the figure, there is a dry brushed mix of rose gold and black to create a kind of weathered effect. As you can see, it's all over them. The boots have brown on them. And all over is a mixture of smears, as you can see right there on his abdomen, of black and a little bit of silver to create a sparkly black, which is the biochemical. The eyes are repainted grey, and there's a bit of silver in that eye to replicate the dead eye. And on this eye, he has black for his pupil. The teeth are slightly dry brushed with a bit of brown, as is the beard, but it keeps coming off. And the head has bits of red smeared all over it with a black wash put on but then has the excess dab dabbed off to kind of get in those crannies and nooks and make him look all kinds of disgusting for a size comparison here is mutant firefield here is a classic xenomorph here is the studio adi xenomorph from aliens versus predator this figure is done by mcfarland toys here is a colonial marine frost from the james cameron aliens film is newt also from the james cameron aliens film and again from the James Cameron Aliens film is Ripley. For his articulation, Mutant Fightfield has a ball peg at the head and I can show you because it's quite soft out here so I can actually pop off the head. As you can see, it is a single ball peg. So it, tilt, it, um, it tilts a little bit, rotates and goes up and down a little bit. With the helmet on, the motion is significantly decreased but he's still a good range of motion for a helmeted character, which is he can look left and he can look right. The shoulders are on pin socket joints, so they will rotate forward and back along with out to the side. 
with the hinge in there. Now, there is no bicep swivel or elbow swivel, so unlike um, the alien here who can do this, and Big Chap who can do this, like put his arm like that, Mutant Firefield cannot do anything like that. He does, however, have an LA standard elbow bend, which bends on that side 45 degrees, but on this side it bends close to 90. Now, this is where things get interesting, because he has a forearm swivel. I mean, not that it was needed, it was just the way the figure was constructed. He then had a gauntlet swivel. Uh, mine's glued up because, um, well, first of all, this one was on this side. They were reversed when they should be like this. Second of all, they got glued up, as I said before, because I put these wires on. And by the way, the wires do not hinder the articulation. Now, the hands are customised. Originally, they were a very gr a gripping hand, so I made this one to a fist. And this one into a open palm. And they do peg on with ball pegs. And for ball pegs, they have quite nice range. The mid-torso, which goes like that for some stupid reason. It's because of the wires underneath. The mid-torso is on a double ball peg. And the waist is on a single ball peg. So combine that. Unfortunately, the wires do hinder it. So you get that much on side to side. Crunch arching back is decent. And crunching forward... is not so bad. The legs are on a DC Universe style of joint, so they will go forwards and backwards, as you can see. They will go out to the side, not hindered at all by the wires. Cut joints in your upper thigh, double joints at the knee, and a beautiful ball joint at the foot. This ball joint is fantastic. It rotates like every other, but has an incredible amount of pivot in it, and it goes up decently far and down an exceptional amount. So this is great. A great, great ball peg on an otherwise really, really, really nicely turned out custom. Overall, I'm very happy with how this custom figure turned out. And that's exactly what the hand is supposed to be for. Obviously, if you look at it from the other side, if I just pick up the camera and show you the other side, it's... The effect kind of, actually kind of works. Um, this figure originally released was a bit disappointing after hindsight. The problem is he doesn't look any weathered enough. I mean, my version does now, but the original release was not weathered. And there's another fly climbing on Ripley. Ay ay ay. Still, if you can do this mod, I highly recommend it. It's very quick to... Well, actually, mine was not quick. I had to break it up after the course of several days. It's usually quick to do. Um, I used Gorilla Glue and acrylic paint. I have still not sealed this guy. Also, I did have to repaint the whole of the jumpsuit, a mix of dark turquoise and black, which basically makes teal, in order to get the wires to blend in. But to be honest, you can't really tell the difference. Now, the black patches on the wire is not the paint coming off. That is the black that I smeared all over them from the biochemical. So with that, I leave it to you. Do you like this custom figure? What custom figures do you want to see me do more? By the way, someone has requested the Xenomorph Crusher. I, I'm accepting the challenge. However, it is going to take a while yet, as I do have to get this look on eBay for the parts to use. I'm planning on using a figure like this. Not this particular one. This is my big chap. I don't want to use him. And I'm also planning on using a Alien vs Predator from NECA because it has the right leg and waist design for the Crusher. So I'm probably going to use a Defiance Xenomorph. That's... Actually, no, I'm going to use that for the Raven. Still, I've got quite a few custom NECA figures coming up. I've got ideas for the Raven and I've got ideas for the Crusher, which someone else came up with, you know, asked me to do. So I've been Hannibal Wolfgang. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.